before I get into my thing here, I just have one question. I, it's a very easy, simple answer that's going to direct my conversation. I was wondering if I could ask an attorney or counsel, uh, who's in charge through the city of painting the train station bridge? Danny? That's a good question. Uh, Basically, we have an agreement with New Jersey Transit that uh, requires us to kind of maintain a lot and, and do certain things. I would have to look into that issue and get back to you. I would, I would surmise, though, it would be New Jersey Transit because it's their bridge. Uh, Mr. Brown is telling me no, uh, but I guess. Amtrak. And, okay, all right. Well, it's not the city's bridge, I guess, right? Uh, so uh, that's something we could look into, but I don't believe it falls on the responsibility of the city to, I guess, paint it or maintain it. Okay. I mean, it says, I wake up every morning, I, wa I walk the street, I love it, but it says city pride, Linden, city pride, you know, everywhere. And this rusty bridge where my, my mayor and my council president has been elected and in office for like seven months now, and there's still white out over their names. I mean, you go to other cities that have Amtrak bridges or NJ Transit bridges, they have nice banners up. They have banners over the bridges that are nice. They have it well painted. <laughs> what are we waiting for? I mean, you know, I don't know where it falls. I don't know whose issue it falls. I know we have money from state DOT to make our transit village more beautiful. I guarantee you if we paint this bridge, it will make, it make that area more beautiful. Um, please, I don't know if, you, I know you guys got a lot going on. I don't mean to be a bothersome. But whoever can find out who's got to paint the bridge, you know, let's do it. I want my, my mayor and my, uh, my council president to get free advertisement out there having their names up there. So thank you, guys. That's it. I appreciate it. Thank uh, you, Mr. Oh, Roman. Excuse me. Can I ask yes, Rich, you're not the only one who mentioned that. <laughs> I, I, I mean, you're for the sixth ward. Yes, sir. Uh, it would look nice with the mayor's name and then council president. And then six ward councilmen on the <laughs> No, but hey, I mean that is no, in the sixth ward. Without falling around, Council President, you're not the only one who mentioned that. So, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Roman. I also um, a lot of the neighbors have also expressed concern, and a lot of the businesses that I use, they just kind of are like, I don't know. Councilman, uh, thank you, Mr. Roman. You have to sit down. Thank you. Mr. Brown? Yeah, what I'll do is I'll talk to the individual who's responsible for that in the first time. If you look at it, the city never paid for it, nor did Sid. It, I think under there it says Unity Bank somewhere on there. I believe at the time Unity Bank is the one that paid for that to be done. The gentleman since has left Unity Bank, but I think he had Unity Bank was the one that actually paid for it. So maybe start with him to find out how he got approval of doing that, because I know that was a question. And then what you would do is see if you can have a business Conical Phillips or somebody else, if they would be willing to pay to get that done first, rather than using taxpayer funds to do it. I think the way it was done in the past, so let's try to revisit that. But it was private funding that was originally done. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Thank you, Mr. Roman. Mr. Mack, your answer. 